Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Question of the day, how many times have you had an 18-year-old Tennessee whiskey? <laughs> well, here's a bottle. Cadenhead's original collection, Tennessee whiskey, distilled at a Tennessee distillery aged 18 years, 70 CL and 46% ABV. This is whiskey base number 227196. This was bottled in 2022. So over here in Germany, the recommended, I can't say the recommended retail price, the retail price is... Um, 169 over in the Netherlands is 155. In the UK, I can still buy this bottle at Caden Heads, and it's going to cost me 107 pounds. Now, those 107 pounds quickly, uh, sorry, 104 pounds quickly turns into by the time it makes in Germany, um, the import tax, excise tax, the VAT, the postage. I'm going to be at 150 as well. Maybe 139, 149. So, and by the way, I bought this bottle in an auction, 149 euros. So I did not buy it directly from Cadenheads. I did not buy it directly from a um, importer over here in uh, either um, or a retailer in Netherlands or in um, Germany. Auction site, German auction, auction site, whiskeyauction.com. Ralphie says at the moment there's some good deals to be had, and I totally agree. So. Um, Deals to be had. Not everything on every auction site is great. And it's not great at the moment to be selling bottles, but I don't know if it will ever get better again. I think we've climaxed and we're going down a little bit, at least with the secondary market prices. Now, um, what's very interesting is if I type in here the words Tennessee Whiskey 18 into Whiskey Base, I get four bottles. And of these four bottles, um, two are from 2021 and two are from 2022. So we have here from the um, the boys and girls from the um, Wu Dram Clan in cooperation with Kirsch Import, an 18-year-old Tennessee whiskey. And um, it's at the moment going for a price of 389 euros. We have here from my friend over here, uh, Mr. Man Carella, a German independent bottler. Um, he has 190, 194 bottles in total um, with 96, I'm sorry, 49.6% ABV. Um, it was originally priced at 189. At the moment, it's being sold for 149. It's being discounted because people don't understand how good Tennessee whiskey can be. And we have here a um, independently bottled whiskey from the World Whiskey's individual cast from Caden Ed. And that bottle at the moment is going for about 189 euros. So there have been four bottles and all of these have been bottled outside of the US. If you want to try 18 year old Tennessee whiskey, you need to get outside of America. Isn't the world a weird place to live in? Did you see the video recently at the It's Bourbon Night? Chad and Sarah had done their trip with their um, Patreons and super fans. They were in Ireland. And then they went over to London. They had gone up to Wireworks Distillery. Beautiful place. Have to go there myself one day. Went just more or less, hey, Buffalo Trace opened up their new um, affiliate, not affiliate, their new subsidiary, uh, subsidiary store in London in Covent. Covent's Garden, and they booked a tasting there. They went in, they did the cave tasting, and they brought out this um, Igor Double, 20 year old. And there was like, ah, Chad and Sarah freaked out. Uh, two people were in the tasting. They just said, uh, We walked by and we saw basically the sign in the, um, in, uh, in the window said, uh, Tasting um, seats still available, boom. And they had no idea what they were tasting. And Chad and Sarah are jumping up and down and then they're just like, ah, we can't get this in Kentucky. Sometimes you can get wonderful, wonderful, wonderful products over here in Europe or don't 
you know this wild tur if you're gonna buy wild turkey you're gonna buy a japanese if you're gonna have an old van winkel I'm, 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 I'm pappy van winkel you're gonna have a japanese bottle because they got the whiskeys in the 80s and the 90s and up into the 2000s that wasn't even available in america think blanton's it wasn't available it's a crazy 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 economy we live in with whiskeys and that's case pointed out here 18 year old caden heads Tennessee whiskey. It's probably going to be Dickle Juice. I cannot imagine that Jack Daniels made this. Who else was around 20 years ago? Um, Benjamin Pritchard? I hope not. It doesn't taste like it, let's say that. And there's not many other <laughs> distilleries that were there 20 years ago. All right, what am I going to compare it to? You're going to say, Jason, this is wrong. It's a weeded whiskey. Yes, it's a W.L. Weller. It's a 12-year-old whiskey, 45%, 46%. 12-year-old, 18-year-old. We have corn, wheat, and malted barley. We have corn, rye, and malted barley. Um, we have independently bottled. We have Buffalo Trace, Sazerac. The price of this, I keep on be, um, bidding on auctions. Um, I bid up to about 80 euros on my auctions, which means it would cost me about 100 euros by the time it makes it to my doorstep to get this bottle. Um, Sazerac just took over the, um, literally two days ago, took over the um, importing of whiskey into Germany and now from a um, company they've worked for a decade at least. And um, yeah, so we'll see if we get some better products or even worse service. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, yeah, price at the moment, 150, price at the moment. 150 160 so price is about the same that's why i'm doing this as well on the nose at the very beginning they do smell very very similar nice nice now this has a little bit more of a sting of the alcohol this does work this does feel older and just conveys the moment of um cinnamon of dark rich wonderful caramel wood could you imagine actually like a um, a stick of caramel with a little bit of wood flavor? That's what this is. It's not um, caramel with wood flavor. <laughs> so it's not wood with caramel flavor. It's actually caramel with wood flavor. It's so smooth and rich and creamy and good. Um, in America, and especially maybe in Tennessee, it might be difficult to actually age a cast for 18 years. Now, I've had Elijah Craig, 18-year-old. I've had Elijah Craig, 23-year-old, I think it was called. Um, there's Pappy, 23-year-old. Um, there's products out there that are 18 years of age. You have to take a little bit of care with them. I think these barrels that are 18-year-old, especially with the um, Cape Neds, they have been brought to the UK in the barrel and bottled in the UK. And the weather conditions in the UK are much, much different from Tennessee, especially the climate uh, conditions, and therefore you can age it a lot longer. I had a independently bottled um, Heaven Hill 12-year-old. I compared it to a normal Heaven Hill 12-year-old. There were worlds of difference between the two because that whiskey had not that Kentucky climate conditioning but for 18 years of age, it actually may be better because what? how much do you still have left in your barrel after 18 years of age? Often they're empty. Nothing. Nil. Zero. Nyada. Oh, I can't say Russian anymore. Uh, German. Null. <laughs> so um, that is a big problem. But if you have it in a more temperate climate, you can actually reduce your angel share and age some longer. Buffalo Trace is doing that with, I think the last drop is what it's called. They have an air conditioned or climatized warehouse where they can put the barrels in there and actually reduce the aging, the speed of the aging process a lot compared to Blanton's Warehouse H. And um, that's very good to have extremely old bourbons coming out in the next 10 to 20 years. That's going to be cool. Will I be able to try them and afford them? Probably not. All right, on the nose, the 18-year-old Tennessee whiskey is much better. I get cinnamon, I get caramel, I get wood, a little bit of tobacco leaf, and a tiny, tiny whiff of maybe a ginger spice. 
Cheers. Mm. Wow. That's a B whiskey. Maybe even a B plus. Wow. Does age matter? And, uh, yes, I don't want to admit it, but yes. At least here, that is absolutely fantastic. That's a good, good product. Now, um, Cade Heads, if you know Spring Bank, if you know Hazel Burn, if you know Long Row, um, you know Spring Bank. They are um, a distiller, but they also have an independent um, label. Um, and it was founded in 1842. So they are doing, and this is the inter interesting thing. They are doing very good bottlings with American whiskeys. I have not yet had, I think, a bad bottling of Caden Heads from the U.S. I had a bad bottling of Irish whiskey from them once, but that's something else. But um, it wasn't a bad. It was just below average. I, but I think every single bottling from Caden Heads I've had has been above par, above average. Well done. Um, they don't do many. But that, that they do, hunt them out if you can. If you see them on a shelf for an acceptable price, go online, compare what they should be compared to the price on the shelf. Usually, I would say buy it. Even here, the, the price tag of 150 euros, 160 euros. I just paid 200 euros for a Jack Daniels 10-year-old. And I, th that was an A whiskey. This is a B-plus whiskey. Would I like to save... 40 euros and still have even an 18 year old age statement yes would i love to see this at higher than 46 percent yes but it doesn't it doesn't diminish the returns on the flavor of this whiskey i was looking for a word diminish all right very very brief Comparison, the weather's good, but it's amazing how much sweetness pops out of this in comparison to this. This is silky, this is velvety, this is oaky, this is caramel. This has, in comparison, a little bit more heat, even though it's 45, 46. This is the 12 year old product. This is good. This is much better. All right, my question of the day. Value for money, solid C. Why do I say C? Well, not everyone has $150, $160 to spend on a bottle, but there are people that do. And this is a birthday bottle. This is a special bottle. This is the Christmas bottle. This is the Father's Day bottle. This is the bo bottle that I wish that someone gives me to my 20th anniversary in the company or my 20th anniversary to my wife or whatever. This is something that you should gift yourself and say, hey, you don't know what to buy me? I got my present already. You can wrap it for me. That's what I would do. All right. So I would not. I'm over the stage of letting other people buy whiskey for me. They have to really be a geek to know what I want. Everyone else just gets me crap that I just go, oh, thanks. Uh, what am I going to do with this now? Mm. Yeah, but this is something I would actually uh, gift myself or allow someone to gift me. What is the oldest American whiskey you've ever had? All right. I've, I've had Elijah Craig 23. So Elijah Craig 18. I have not had Pappy 23 yet. I think 23 is going to be the oldest bourbon I've ever had. But I was at Heaven Hill once. It's, what, six years ago? And they actually had this over-aged bourbon that they would not sell. But during the tasting, they would actually pour. Um, it was very, very over-oaked, very woody. There's some orphan barrels out there that are even older. What's the oldest American whiskey you've ever had from years in the barrel that's the question all right 
to write it down. Maybe it's going to be Elijah Craig 12. Maybe it's going to be something like Weller 12. Maybe it's going to be something like a 18-year-old Tennessee whiskey. What have you had and how was it? Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for liking, subscribing, telling others, and sharing this. Um, I try to pass along some insights each and every time, but I also very much enjoy reviewing good bottles of whiskeys. Sometimes I have not so good bottles, but often I have like this. Very, very nice. See you real soon. Whiskey Jason here. Thank you very much for commenting, liking, and subscribing. Bye-bye.